Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. It seems we've done alright with the rest of it. It was only a little, so a bit sort of at the start of it that it didn't like. You're fine, you, I, can le I can trust you to keep going as you are. This one, I've got only two more passes left on the field. I may not even load again. But the problem that we have with this one, I think I should have done two passes on the field. I think I should have done two passes on the headland because we are getting it tangling up the trees a little bit. All right, this is the second time it's done this, although that time it managed to get past it. So I suspect that it has happened other times as well. It's just that I haven't noticed it. it there was a one time down in that corner it got properly hooked up on it. Uh, so I'm thinking with this one there is an issue an underlying issue there that we, we, we may need to go and deal with at some point. But uh, um, again, it's not something I need to worry about right now. So let's just follow that one out. Now, lime. I don't care about that bit. The grass fields, we don't care about those. I do need to put lime on that one, and I do need to put lime on that one. I've got a field over here that needs plowing. So I actually, I could go and get the plow, and we could go to field four, and we could start putting some stuff going there. The Phoenix 6x6 aggro truck is racing down over here, so let's enter that vehicle. And we're just going to have a look at it here. Went around the corner there very nicely, and then up across the steep bit of the track. Let's just double check that it is going to tip out, and so long as it does that, I'll then go and get the John Deere, put the plow back on it. And we will go and plow up the final field that needs plowing before um, winter renders everything too cold to plow. And, I mean, there shouldn't be any issues with that. Cover is off already. Excellent. I got a point there that I've said that it must go and do the tipping. 1146 on there. That 109. Oh, wow. Okay, so why has it gone all the way to there before it stopped? It's gone right to the very edge of where it can go. It, it's doing it, so I don't really care it's doing it. That's the bit that matters. But it is it is doing it very kind of strangely, isn't it? That, that does seem a little bit odd that it's going that far before it actually finishes tipping. So maybe I needed to put the tip point a little bit for Then, I... I guess it's to do with where the tip point is in relation to the truck, because where I put it, we would like tipping right in the middle of the, in the middle of it. Huh. Right. Well, that's just general confusion all round. We have got enough money to buy the next thingy that we want. Oh, you've already gone and done one round. Let's do it. That's that's, that's doing good. That is. He's he's going well, and he's about to go and finish this. He should go up across the field and use the same load route that the other tractor uses as well. The one that the Case Quad Track is using right now. And the Case Quad Track is on its way over here. I can see it up there. He's going to use that same course. So we'll have the two of them going into the yard and loading up together. And this is actually a good thing. I'm liking this idea because it means we can see how well the two of them... Um, cooperate with each other. You'll have this one here. I reckon this one's actually going to get there first. And it might... Oh, well, I don't know. Why is that one stopped up in the field over there? Oh, he's just going slow. Oh, I see. He's, he's sort of coming up and he's trying to establish which way he needs to go before he pulls out onto the road to get stuff. So that one's going to go down the road first. This dude here is coming up across the field and he's going to use the exact same course. That's actually fine. He can use the exact same course. And it's going to be interesting if this one will reach the load point in front of that one. On, uh, whether When that one is still... No, yes, he will. I, I was wondering whether the other tanker would still be loading before this one gets there. And yes, he will still be loading. He's not going to be able to beat them down there. And there's our truck coming into the yard. And that is also going to cause another traffic jam. So, in theory, we should have all three of them line up one behind the other, if all goes well. So, I want to go to you, and this time it didn't even bother taking the cover off. That one's going to come into the yard. Is he going to stop for track? 
is in traffic excellent that's fantastic so i want to go here and i can't do it like that although if i go to in traffic as well that is good that is fan schmastic if i go to covers deactivate the cover right it's not allowing me to do it so i've actually got to stop the driver to be able to make this work so i do that then load it up yeah we're putting in another load don't you you're you're still stuck in traffic you've got to stay stuck in traffic for a minute until this one has finished loading and then i will say drive course and you will drive off and then the quad track will go around and load up with slurry and then the one behind will also load up with slurry as well i know that i'm currently being billed for both these people to do this work right drive course you're gonna go there he goes and then i can go and have a look at this one he's coming in behind they should both now well they're both running the same course so there's no reason that they shouldn't and we know this one will stop so long as he will stop for the quad track doing the loading up here it should all be okay everything should all be tickety boo so long as he does that he'll come over here now it should it, that one's going to stop there in traffic yes excellent that is awesome and fantastic so they will go both load up and do what they're going to do we've got the truck is already off loading and doing what it's going to do and i want this one so that i can put that going in the field i want to get load i uh, put that plow back on i shouldn't have put that one away i was actually um i need to be able to plow that last field there's no point waiting for spring do the plow in the autumn you can just leave them to it then uh get you hooked on like that we may end up doing cultivating slash slurry spreading in this other field as well i don't really know it's it's like the, there is a lot of work to do I'm, I'm actually thinking that maybe we should get more slurry spreaders going and maybe that would be a better option I, I, i'm not quite sure at the moment so i'm going to bring this one here I'm bring you in over here because i don't have course loaded in here at the moment so this is field four so i'm going to bring you there right in the middle of the field like that and it should then take me out towards the edge of the field somewhere um at least this is what i'm hoping so i've got nothing loaded right now i got four corn four tip that's all i got right now so i want to go into you i want field work on this one and calculate current field's edge path i don't need to do that we've already done that using the corn so then i want to go course generation on here i want to go field four right there which is that one there current vehicle position automatic bypass islands is deactivated we don't have any islands on this field skip rows uh no i'm not going to skip rows i'm going to let that one go back on itself now, it's saying 15.2. I'm going to drop that down to 15 meters so that we don't have any major overlap or anything like that. And headland, I want three passes for headland. Going clockwise, headland pass, headland corners, smooth turn or round turn radius. I'm going to go turn on that one. And I'll see whether that makes any difference at all. Because uh, I've got the other one, that the smooth round type one. Generate field course. Are you jet? Yes, that is fan schmastic. It has generated a field course right in there, which I'm hoping is going to be the perfect course. Uh, start course at first waypoint. I bring you back over here. So this is the plowing for field four. So if I bring you back over there like that, and I will save this one, I will go field four. Build for plow like that. There we go. Now, if I just go drive course without unfolding it first, does it unfold it for me? Also, uh, what's the speeds that we've got things set at? Turn on feel. I don't want those. That's the speeds. Right, turn speed is 14k. Feel speed 24. Reversing speed 6. I'll put that up to 10. Go like that. Drive course. Are you going to unfold or do I need to do that for you? Something I'm not quite sure about. Interesting to find out that he is going to unfold for me. He does everything. He's actually quite good, isn't he? 
It's, it's got to be said, it is actually quite good. And that truck did sell this time. Sold it all properly. So we've sold what we wanted to sell in there. And he's now whizzing back off into the yard. He's going to go and reload. I've got Slurry out in the field doing stuff. This one here is now starting and whizzing off around the fields. Look like he's got any major hardships with the turning. Although there's one bit there it does look like it is going to have to turn. And I go in here. It's just close enough to the edge of the field right there to grab the last little bits of stuff. Quad track has reached trigger point. It's not the one that I'm interested in. You right here, you're not even bothering anymore. It was loading a little bit. It's, it's, it's given up with that completely. So I will go back onto there and stop driver. I'll take that cover off and I'll reload. I got 153,000, so I'll start and I'll put another load into here. I think that'll be about right then. I'm not sure I want to sell any more than that. That's going to give us another 50 grand on top of that. So we're looking at just under 390,000 euros in total. Uh, that's easily enough to go and buy the large cattle pen. I can put all of the cattle I've got into that large cattle pen. There's going to be enough room for all the calves in there. And then great demand at selling station generic. I don't know what selling station generic is. Let me go and have a look. Where's selling station generic? Right there. I don't even know where that is. Does anybody know where selling station generic is? Uh, Port North. Where? Selling station generic. Right there. We've got a great demand on that one, which is actually for corn. Wow. 1,554. Corn is a very good price at the moment. That is a very good price. I have 1147 on the one I'm selling at. That one's on 1096. What is the betting it goes up like? And then we get a great demand on here as well. It'd be like 2,000 or something obscene. I'm happy with the risk that we're taking. Okay, next closest waypoint, drive. You do what you need to do, dude. You do what you need to do. You in here, you're doing what you need to do. We've missed a little bit right there on the outside edge of this course. A little bit of a shame. I, that's, that's all right. It's, it's not the end of the world, I don't think. And you, right here. So you have reached the end of your course. You've done this field here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go there. I'm going to stop driver. I'm going to clear the current courses like that. And I'm going to fold that one up. Now, is there anything that I actually want to do with this? Well, I've got the... Plow is going over in that field over there, but I don't think there's anything else that I want to do with this one. Now, this slurry spreader is absolutely fantastic. We've done a really good job with this one. I've got a load of slurry in here, so I can either return it, not use it anymore, or we can have it do something else with it. I've got that one is cultivating and slurry spreading at the same time over there. Why have you stopped? You are doing a really good job. You're already on your second round. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with this one. This one's this one's doing a grand job, this one is. I'll let, you, I'll let you carry on, but why was that other one stopped? You're doing a grand job. You over here. Oh. He's not stopped. I thought he was stopped for a minute, but he's not. He's he's still working. He's he's going a little bit is 10k what he's supposed to be running at? 10k seems a little bit high. Slurry distributor, 8.4%. Slurry tanker, 8.4%. Weight, 30.1%. Tractor, 30.1%. That's how much damage has been done to it. So 8.4% is not very much damage at all, really. That's still got quite a bit more before it's needing to slow down. But 10... It is a slow machine anyway, isn't it? I don't have to look now. This is, this is going to bug me. Uh, you in here, and then it's the cultivator bit in here, and it's the cultivator bit that fastens on. Well, it's not you then. It's cultivator, disc harrow. Well, I didn't think it was a disc harrow. I must come... Uh, does that actually come under the, the bit, the slurry tanker technology? Uh... Oh, it does. Ah, right. 17k, that's supposed to be. So, it would appear... 
That's the one that I'm using, isn't it? Samson, 17, 17k it's supposed to be running at. It would appear that either I've got the field speed too slow or it needs to be repaired in order to be able to run at full speed because that is going very slow, isn't it? Uh, you in here, 7, turning circle auto 18 meters, vehicle convoy deactivated, maximum distance 100 meters, refill until 100, farm silo load slurry. Okay, that's, that's, that's all good on there. Um, turn speed, field speed's 24k. Reverse speed can go up to 10. Uh, right, well, I know what I need to do. I'm going to stop the driver right there. Stop driver. Like that. And... I'm going to take this one back down to the yard and we're going to repair it because it does appear that we're running slowly because we need to repair the machine. It's saying 8.5% on that. Now, it's giving me in the description of the vehicle that it can... It'll do better than that, but the, the, eight, point, the 8 point anything percent, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. So let's have a look. I'll go to you right there. Yeah, condition is absolutely fine. Condition is fine. So it's nothing to do with the condition. So why are you only running at 10k? It's not because the ground is frozen. <laughs> that was a little bit of an error on my part. I'm going to need to go this way. We'll go up here next to Ducky's tractor right there. And I'll go back out to the field and we'll carry this one on. So something going on there that is my fault, but... I'm not quite sure what. It should be running at 17k. And it's not running at 17k. And this is a bit I don't really understand. Why are you not running at 17k? It's not that. Vehicle convoy working with 7. Refill until 100 maximum. It's nothing in there. It's got to be the speeds here. Field speed 24k. You should be doing 17. Turn speed is 15. Maybe it's because of the turn speed. I wonder if it's to do with the reversing speed. Street speed automatic. Speed from recording. Speed maximum from recording. Hmm. I don't know about that. That's looking pretty good. There's nothing there that I can set. So we'll... we'll Let's, let's try this. So I've got that. I've got the two combined courses on here. Um, I will not first waypoint. No, current waypoint. Next closest. Drive course. Okay, that's doing what it's supposed to do there. It's now doing 17k. Right, it might have been because of corners or something like that. It may have just confused it a little bit. I don't really know. But it is, it's is—it's—it's doing the right speed that I want it to now. So I, I don't really need to worry about it. Uh, you over here. I haven't decided what to do with you yet. So we'll leave you doing what you're doing. You over here. I have decided what I'm doing with you. You're staying and doing what you're doing. And it is actually plowing everything up by the look of it. It's going through and it's plowing things up. There it did do a turn. Went through and it did. It, it turned and, and did what it was supposed to do. So now it's lifted out of the ground and he's driving off going over to the edge of the field over here. He's going to start doing his up and down work. Right. You are absolutely fine. All tickety-boo and wonderful. You over here. I need to stop driver a minute. Now, how much have we got left in here? I've got 110,000. It's whether or not I sell... You know what I am? I'm going to sell one more load, I think. I will do just one more load. So we will load that up there. That's going to leave me... Uh, take 43,000 off there. So it's going to leave me with 67,000... Well, excuse me, with like 68,000, 69,000. Something like that. Left in... Is it going to be that much? 110. Less 40. 70. Yeah, it's about 63,000. Not 63. 67,000. Something like that. We're going to find out now. I'll tell you right now. 
67,000. There we go. So we've got 67,000 litres left. And that's done. So now I can go drive course like that. And it will go and sell the final load. That's it. That's everything sold. Every everything that I want to sell at the moment. And then I've got enough to go and buy the next cattle pen. Which is going to go here. I need to have room for two cattle pens there. The other pig pen decided what I'm going to do with the pigs yet. Um, and we'll get to them. But we, we don't need to worry about them just yet. So you over here. Excellent. Right. 17k. That's perfect. That's what I want. I want you to stay doing 17k now. If you, if you could please. And so we're, we're over to you. So what do we do with you? I think we will go and park this one back in the yard. We're done with this one. The slurry tanker, I will keep it for now. Um, because I can't actually afford to go and buy both these slurry tankers. It's quite cool being able to spread slurry and cultivate at the same time. I'm not going to be wanting to do a huge amount of work like that. Because it's quite a small cultivator. So it does take a fair bit of time for it to actually do its job. Um, so that's one. It's, it's kind of a temporary measure on there. Um, it's not something I'm going to be using a great deal, but I still like the idea. This one here, though, this one we will be using a lot of. Oh, you know, free slurry. And yeah, I do have to drive back to the yard in order to be able to use it because the other setting doesn't really work. But we'll worry about that um, as and when we get to it. Right now, I'm just going to park this one here. He's out of the way of any of the tracks, isn't he? So he's not going to cause any problems there. And... We've still got plenty of room that we can get to our bales and everything over there and use those up. So I don't need to concern myself with that. Right. How are we doing? I'm going to have a little bit left open. Oh. I don't like what it's doing there on the ends. It's leaving little bits on the ends of each of the rows. Frithgar does not approve of that. There we go. That's just how it is, I suppose. And you are on your way back to go and get another load. So we've got 24k field speed. That's that's like. So why was it going so slow before? I don't really understand that. It just decided it wanted one of the settings like that. And you are doing this weird thing again, where it gets right to the very edge of the trigger point before it, and and then stopping to finish the unload. But well, at least it's doing it. So 437,000 euros now means that we have got all the money that we could possibly want for buying our cattle pen. I think we could actually do that. We've got all of these courses running around at the moment. So I think we need to set ourselves up so we can get a good view and start thinking about building a new cattle pen. Well, I thought I was going to be clever and I was going to just carry on doing the recording without having to do anything else. But it seems that that is not going to be the case. And I had two courses loaded when I stopped doing the recording, which was that one there where it was going back to the yard to go and gather stuff. And then there was this course in here. But unfortunately, coming back into the game, it doesn't seem to have loaded the second course. So I had that one out there loaded, but I don't have the field work one. And so I've just got to find where I was in the field before I stopped doing my last recording session. And I've also got to reload the the field course onto here as well. So we are in field six, aren't we? This is where I have to remember. the No, that's field six. This is field seven. So we're in field seven. Field seven, slurry, cultivate. So I want to tag that one on like that, right there. And then I need to find where I was on the course. Which is a very, very important little feature. And find where I was on this. Ah, we stop at that end, eventually. Let's slow things down a little bit, shall we? We're not supposed to be we're not supposed to be drifting with this thing. Right, so we come over to here. This was the point right here where we had gotten to in our field. So I want to bring that one back over this way a little bit. Like this. And I want to look straight down like that. And I want to go there. And then nearest waypoint is where I want to start driving the course. So drive course. Work tool needs to be refilled. Hopefully... It will do that auto. It is not autoing. 
Even though I've tagged it onto the... Oh, uh, I think... Uh, maybe, maybe I've got them the wrong way around. So stop driver and clear the course. And then we will go back into here. And I will get the field 7 there. And then I will go slurry load field 6. And tag that one onto it like that. So I've got two combined courses. Uh, that is the correct course that we want. And then I will go... Drive course starting at nearest waypoint. That's what I need to do. It was tagged on the wrong way round. So now it will go back up there and it will carry on and do what it needs to do. Excellent. That is perfect. That is wonderful. That's what I want. So I will go to you and I'll get rid of the lines a minute. And then I will go back through here. So what I've got, I did have this one. This one carried on. This, this one was fine. Uh, then I went to this... Uh, by the way, this combine, we've definitely got to do something about that header. The way that has drifted around and shoved the machinery out the way just because it's sort of sitting and bouncing. I really, really don't like that. And it's properly moving everything around. So we're going to have to do something with that header trailer. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do yet. Uh, that's on my to-do list. And then you over here. I don't think I actually saved the course for this one. But having spoken to a few people about the issue that I was getting with this one, it's more common than I thought. I, it is actually a common occurrence. It is something that people, other people have had issues with where you start it working in the yard. It should go and load up, but it's not. There is a bit of an issue and some other people have had that same issue as well. So I wasn't actually doing anything wrong. I had the correct course with the, the tipping one, the one that's there right now. Um, so it was, that was the correct course option. That was the one I should have been using. It was just that we, um, we had a bit of bad luck with it. Sometimes it doesn't work. Usually it's all right. Sometimes it just doesn't work and you have uh, problems with it. Now there are a few workarounds you can sort of try and tweak a bit here and there and and change a few bits here and there and, and you, you may eventually be able to tweak it all around and, and get it looking good. Um, so maybe we'll figure, we'll sort of play around with something like that in the future. Right now I'm not too concerned about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will back that bad boy up there like that so that he's out of the way of the yard. I don't want anything else going on there and we will stop you there because we don't need any more selling done anyway do we we're now down to 67 th thousand right my eyeball was itching so uh, i tried to subtly do it but it moved my glasses and made a big noise so in, in the end I, I had to stop um right scraper special has reached the trigger end point so let's go and it's not you you are, however, loaded up with slurry and go back to the field. So you're doing a wonderful job. I'm very pleased with you. Got no complaints with that one. So I want to go to that one. He has reached the end. Um, I will clear that. I will get rid of that. We need to go around and manually just tidy it up. A slight disappointment that we do have to do that. Um, but we can, that we can cope with that. Now, is there any more plowing that we need to do? If I look in here, we've got our fruit types. We've got our growth in there. That one's plowed and being cultivated. The new field there is also plowed and has been cultivated as well. Um, this field over here doesn't need plowing. And I wasn't planning on making any new fields this year. So we have no more plowing. That is all the plowing once I've gone and tidied that bit up. So we'll do that in a minute. We will run round the field and just do these bits. There's some here and there's some down the other end. Then this one can be taken back to the yard, ready to park up. And... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.